whatever happened to customer service, guys? Whatever happened to customer service? Oh, man. Because I, I, I'm trying to have an epiphany here. I'm trying to have a complex that's civilized in my brain of why, oh, why do I have to do 13 loopholes in order to get to something I need, I really need? You know... All right, so I got this computer third party from a friend, right? You know, this is sound like some sort of mafia story. Don't worry, there's no gunfire involved yet. But anyway, I've got this computer, been working fantastic. It's a great computer. I like it. It plays video games. I set most of the games a little high end. I turn down the graphics a little bit, still have fun playing the games. And I mix and match my consistency with playing video games, you know, from old to new computer here provides a great service for new gen computer games fantastic plug in a game pad use the keyboard and mouse stroke my dick because there's some hentai across the screen every once in a while that was a dirty joke by the way if you don't laugh at it you're a sick asshole to me anyway so anyway going on to the story here and why i feel like customer service has gone to the shits now, I understand I'm supposed to help these people out with their pockets. Economy is so bad. Here's the thing, right? You purchase a product or you have put money down towards a product. For example, I got this this video, this uh, motherboard rather. I don't know why I said video card. This motherboard is developed by Phoenix Technologies. Now, a lot of people probably are computer experts. Probably look at that company and go, ooh. But, either way, I don't like bootlegging things. I like obtaining things in the fairest of terms. Now, I don't, again, like I said, I don't like pirating. I'm not going to pirate anything. I'd rather have a fix for something that is behind their product. Now, this drive is version of, so that way if anyone does is aware of what the product is called, it is the uh, LTD uh, 5.2. It's... It, it, the last update for this uh, motherboard has been 2007. That's pretty damn old, right? And you would, I would probably now see more than likely why there's so many problems with the damn thing now. I see 100% why I'm going through frustrations every time I play a video game, blue screen of doom. And it's mostly because of some problems with the technology within the motherboard. Problems, blah, blah, blah. It all fathoms the calculations are unbalanced. It gets technical from there. People understand the equations, the mathematics, and the principles behind the, the inhuman calculator that is called a personal computer. So, I'm looking at this going, okay, let's go get ourselves a driver. Get ourselves an update. So, I'm looking on YouTube because, you know, I'm almost 80% sure of what I'm doing. However, I want to make sure I'm doing it the right way. So, I double check my thesis of, okay, download driver updates use a flash stick or a floppy disk or what have you and then you know go through there you know install it remove the bi older bios install the new bios lather and repeat rub my damn dirty nipples with a fucking chainsaw because these two tree trunks down here are pissed off when my nipples get hard it either means i'm aroused it's cold or i'm pissed off and i gotta say right now i am batting a thousand with these nipples Boom, boom. Anywho, so I go and look at the drivers, you know, see what, I, what the kind of mem uh, motherboard I have to deal with here. So I go on Phoenix Technologies. So they're explaining about how they're all about technology. So I'm like, all right, where the fuck is your drivers? So then I click on another link. Hi, I'm the, I, I am Phoenix Technologies. And it's like, where the hell are your drivers? So I look even more, it says eSupport.com. Which, to me, this sounds like some sort of shady third business style thing. Now, I can understand why eSupport uh, is around. They're helping trafficking the, you know, the technology, the, in this case, the data, which is required for the BIOS updates. Helps micromanage all this stuff for the companies. Companies, perf you know, manufacture this, so to speak. And the eSupport helps distribute it as well as get a hefty fee in their pocket. I can understand third party distribution quite well. At the same time, it's like Jesus fucking Christ. Whatever happened to the sole the publisher of these products? What happened to 
companies being able to sell their own goddamn products and you knowing you're going to get a smile in return even though after you leave the store they'll fucking flip you off but that smile in your face that you know you got a good thing in your hands whatever happened to that you know that dignity you had when you bought a product you know it being a loaf of bread or even though you get your refund with them anyway you get the point customer service has died down dramatically as far as i'm concerned Customer service is getting pushed back to third world countries, even though we're, and, you know, just pushed all over the damn place, where people in America who are looking for jobs, these things, now that I'm on track, mind you, are looking for jobs, be it that customer service for all those desperate people who want to work, who want to help people, who want to do something with their lives, is in India. In motherfucking India. So I have to talk to a bald. Not, not, not trying to sound racist here. These are some of their actual names. They kind of sound like that. I'm trying my best here. But you, you sit there and you fucking have to talk to some guy that can barely speak a word of fucking English. So that way you get told you are wrong. You are misconceiving the situation. You need to do something that you fucking did 10,000 times. And you told the motherfucker you did 10,000 times. So that way you can just get told. Here. Here's an update patch go out download it on your computer go install it now mind you i didn't have to deal with any person from india i didn't have to deal with any customer support because there's nothing fucking there other than a pay to fucking you service which to me it's kind of like huh just for a little patch update that will swap out my bios and make it fresh and new and minty fresh and this gives me a complex i see why people buy pre-built computers sometimes too because this is the other point i want to make here and this is nothing against people who love pc gaming if you love pc gaming you are fantastic good for you you're a great person nothing against your character whatsoever but for me it's like jesus christ now i also see why people like playing fucking consoles too it's so much more easier i mean granted installing some of the drives as well like uh you know video cards and all that isn't that bad but it's the fucking BIOS you have to update, all this extra shit you have to fuck with. And if you don't have the experience, you have to pay some ov overly paid freaking neckbeard guy from freaking Best Buy to steal all your information, then install something into your computer that you have really no clue what the fuck he's saying to you. Most of these housewives are probably watching this right now, if they are. If people don't have no idea what the fuck a fucking sound card is, they're gonna probably watch me right now and go, He's preaching the truth because it is the truth it's like you have to fucking get this fixed no matter what you know you have to get it fixed because this computer is crying it's giving you the blues it's singing the blues brothers on your damn screen it's saying equal Atkins is not equal to unless that and all this other crap and you're looking at it going I just want to play solitaire what is going on so you have to go and update the bios so I got my flash stick ready, I got my penis in my hand, I'm ready to rock this thing. I'm ready to show this thing a wild night, right? I'm ready to go and grab that BIOS, I'm ready to update that. And guess what? I'm told, hey, we're going to need some credit card there, buddy. Because we have third world country people to feed. I mean, it isn't bad enough that we're, America's already throwing a shit ton of money at Greece. But hey... We're going to throw some more money at people who don't really need it from America. They need it from their own fucking country. It's because their democracy, their economy sucks just as bad as America's. So that's why America has to feed them money. So then their people who are doing the customer service for America, third world sourcing, mind you, third party sourcing, can get paid. Versus all the Americans are out of jobs. For all the people who don't have jobs at the moment, we're just simply trying to upgrade their BIOS and get some friendly customer service that comes from the money from the fucking motherboard that is from goddamn Phoenix Technologies. God, I have a complex right now. My, my brain is rattled because of the fact that people go, you sound like a complete douchebag. You're an asshole. You're a loser. It's like, why am I a loser? Because I feel frustrations because of something that can be simply addressed. Something that does not require third-party sourcing. These companies who publish these patents.
patch BIOS updates should be behind their product and no matter what even the people who buy these motherboards from freaking stores such as Newegg and all these other places can be able to grab the file stick it on a flash stick or a, dry, a diskette or something of that nature be able to fix the problem with their computer be able to you know surf the web play a little bit of a game and go to sleep and wake up and live their everyday lives and you know survive like everybody else and that right there is their reward for life a little bit of that that happy time but that happy time gets turned upside down because of all this extra loophole bullshit which I see so many flaws behind this cycle of life when it comes to customer support that it makes me have a brain gasm. Like, it's not a good brain gasm. It's like being mutually raped in the ass with a chainsaw until I pass out from blood loss or death. I hope both happen sooner or later because of the situation. Now, this is something I'm taking overboard. It's something, you know, why don't you just swipe your credit card and quit being such a cheap asshole? It's like, I don't want to, you don't understand. I don't want to have to do that. There should be support with no matter what. It's like Dell giving you a product, giving you so much for a, making you pay 30 bucks. So that way some guy from India can give you a, a simple link that you could have found through Google yourself and fix your own problem. So wh where's this problem solution here? I mean, it, this is something that should be easily provided you for free after you buy the product. That should be the, su the support, the reassurance that they support their product 110% and want to help you fix your products so that way you can enjoy your product fully and happily but we live in a world where people just want extra money for something I can understand it helps the cost of building the company the corporation but at the same time people buying the mem the motherboards is paying the corporation to survive to need that extra nickel and dime is a little bit of acidine if you already give the person a whole dollar it's the same thing that happens with many things across the world but again I digress. I'm probably going to sound like a total asshole to everybody for saying all this because it's true and people don't like hearing that. It's just common sense that what happened to corporations standing behind their fucking products. I've, I've not lost hope in every pro company out there. I have not. I understand that the woes and the whims of surviving in this corporational, fictional freaking world we like to uh, believe in. But at the end of the day, I just want to be able to update my freaking BIOS on my computer so that I can play a game for a couple hours and go to sleep. Or at least 30 minutes, depending on what your indulgence in video games are. But again, I'm repeating myself, probably becoming less indulgent to your eardrums. But again, I like to freaking have fun every once in a while. And having to go through stress to try to have fun after, it doesn't really build up being worth it anymore. This is why... I like supporting console games, playing FPS shooters on these because the only thing I really have to do with this is sit about 5-8 minutes, install a little part of the game onto my little hard drive or my Xbox 360, which I just put the disc in, loads up, a little bit of lag from the server, oh well, at least I'm playing the game right away. If there's any problems with the damn thing, about the same price you'd roughly pay for a new vi uh, motherboard or whatever. You can fix to get the damn thing fixed. Same price, same worry, but less hassle. Or hell, even I can I could do you one better. I can moonwalk in generations. I can moonwalk in generations. I'm moonwalking, guys. You can't see it right now. Woo! And I'm moonwalking right now. And guess what? I can reach over to my Sega Genesis. I can pop it on and I can play some of that. Because guess what? The motherboard and that is a hell of a fuck lot easier to repair. It requires 20 bucks. It's called getting a new Sega Genesis. But again, I'm rambling on. I apologize. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to make sure you are feeling accomplished from watching this because I want to make sure you know how grateful I am for you watching this video because how fucking ups disappointed and upset I am with this these companies nowadays making the customer go through hell and high water just to play around with their damn technology. So take it easy folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's not my angry voice by the way. My angry voice is much louder.
Bye-bye, folks.